What's up? What's up? What's going on, guys? It's your host, Invisible GFS. Let's talk Draft King Fantasy Basketball Player for the slate of August 2nd. Man, I should have been done right now, man. I thought I was recording. Uh, somehow I was recording, then I stopped it, but I forgot to restart it again. But anyway, man, this game, the Heat game, whew, that, what, that was a game. The ref was bad, actually, in this game. The last two calls, both from the Heat and the Milwaukee Bucks was a bad call, but hey, my hit went. I'm happy. I'm excited. 2-0. All right. Anyway, guys, so I already have those five players right there for you guys, but I'm going to talk about some players I like and also about my five players. So let's start it. Uh, and uh, it's a two-game slate. The first game for the Denver and the Clippers series, and then the third game for the Toronto Boston series. Uh, as far as stack, I'm probably going to start both games. But if I had to choose one of them, it'd possibly be the Toronto Boston series. And that would probably be the game I would stack. Uh, as far as point guard, shooting guard position, uh, Maury is a no for me. I'm going to X him out on DK. Definitely X him out on DK. Possibly do the same on FD, to be honest. All right, so uh, my point guard, Kalar uh, is my favorite point guard. That's why I have him there. Um, Walker, I like Walker. Van Fleet, Smart. Uh, Lou Williams, Morris, if he get the start, uh, me personally, I think there's a chance Harris could enter in the starting lineup. For that reason, Morris might not be. Uh, Morris was in the last winning lineup, which is crazy. Both him and Craig was in there on FD. I don't know about ZK. Uh, I do play a little bit more than on FD. Uh, what else? Uh, Smart had a great third quarter where he hit like four threes or five of them. Ooh, that was crazy because he looks like he wasn't gonna do anything in this game. Uh, yeah, the Ch uh, Jackson and Shemet probably a no for me. Maybe I'll take a chance on Jackson, but the fact that Pat Bev gonna play that could be a reason for me to stay away from them. So uh, let's talk about Bev and Larry. Larry, I feel like I feel like he can be better not just in one quarter or two quarters, but all fourth quarter. Doesn't mean it's you know, got to do something. Can just like last game, he had a great first quarter. Then he didn't do much in the second quarter. Then third quarter, it was okay. But quarter didn't do much. Can't be like that, man. If you want, if he doesn't want his team to get down 3-0, he got to come to in this game. Pat Bev, if we find out his limit, he's gonna have a limitation in this game. Then I could change him for somebody else. But for right now, 3.5K, I know he's going to play 25 minutes. I don't mind. I'm still going to keep him in there as a cheap play. All right. Uh, as far as shooting guard, it's basically the same players. Don't, um, Jim O'Moore, again, he's in, I'm going to X him out. Uh, Jalen Brown is a uh, shooting guard small forward. I like him. Uh, a little bit more than Van Fleet, but definitely like him. Uh, smart 6.3K, I don't mind going there, but I just would rather play Lou Williams. Uh, Powell, Gary Harris, I would rather go with Gary Harris. Uh, and that's basically it. Maybe a little bit of Craig. Craig was in the winning lineup too. Uh, on FD, which is crazy. The 100k first place winning lineup. Alright, so uh, as far as small forward, Kawhi is definitely number one for me there. I know I don't have any small forward here, but definitely number one. And then it would be Paul George over Tidham. Then I would go Tidham number three, Jalen Brown three. Uh, and then uh, I would go more with four, but I definitely uh, like Porter, OG, and Grant. If I had to uh, rank those three, I would put OG one and uh, Grant two based on minutes. I know he played over 30 some minutes last game, only had like nine fantasy points, something like that. But usually, if Grant play that many, uh, play all those minutes, he gonna give you a little bit more than that. That's that's not the norm for him, so definitely wouldn't mind going there. Porter, we all know it's a great offensive play, but he is not there yet defensively, and that could be a big problem for him in this series. So for that reason, I would put those other guys before him. All right, uh, that's basically it. I'll talk about Paul Schmidt. Most likely, is no for me with Pat Bev is back uh, again uh, for power forward. Uh, definitely like Tatum. Uh, then you have Morris, which is small power forward. You have Ty's power forward center, put it back, OG. So it's the same guys. No need to talk to them. But I want to talk about Millsap. I actually like Millsap better than I like Grant and 
probably better than Porter. I think in this series, Millsap will definitely be better. So for that reason, I definitely gonna take a chance on him. Uh, Tatum is my favorite power forward there. Uh, I don't know how much I'm gonna play him, even though I like him, but the price is so expensive. So I might not play him as much as I would like to because I think I would rather go to uh, I would rather go to Jokic or Leonard as my expensive player. All right, so I to, okay. Uh, I think I already talked about the power forward here. You, like I said, uh, and as far as center guys, Jokic. It's definitely my favorite center, uh, but the way I'm constructing that lineup, it's possibly not going to be in there. As you can see, I do have, uh, before I talk about center, let's talk about uh, the power forward again. Uh, it's uh, Tatum, uh, Morris. Uh, as far as my top power forward, I, I know I said Tatum, but no, nah, it's actually Siakam is my uh, favorite power forward and that's why i have him in there at 7.9k i feel like siakam can actually match tatum uh, fantasy points wise even if he doesn't tatum probably not gonna outscore him by much for that reason i'm going with siakam here uh, and then for the center position uh, let me rank them as far as so as siakam i would have him number one and uh, the fact that i'm not gonna tatum i'll put him number two but even though i might not play him much uh, then I would go with Morris here, then uh, Ties, and uh, I would go with, uh, who did I say I like again? I uh, know I said Ties, and my next one would be Millsap. I'll pull Millsap over Grant. No, no, I'll go with OG, Millsap, Grant, then Porter. All right, Porter, the problem is it's, it's minutes. That's the one of the reasons. Uh, I'm not gonna play, and especially in this series, I can see him play even less minutes. So it's the first game probably gonna tell you more. So we'll see. Uh, as far as center, like I said, uh, Ibaka. I'm going with the double center here. Ibaka and Gasol in the same team. One of the, uh, the starter, one is the backup. I uh, definitely uh, Gasol should still be starting. He's on the first game. If somehow they decide to change, then of course accordingly then. Uh, make sure you uh, do that and possibly take him out if somehow they decide not to start him. But I see him start and I see him play even more minutes. And Ibaka has been great. And they possibly, there's going to be time where they play them together for that reason. I like both of them. All right. Uh, I can even go Joe and somebody else like uh, Emil Saab or something like that. But those are my guys. All right. The five players again is Lowry, Siakam, Serge Ibaka. Bad Bear as a cheap play and Mark Gasol. Uh, I need. I would love to get the news on I mean on Pat Bev to find out how many minutes he is going to play. So good luck. I appreciate you guys. Please, please share. Turn on your bell notification and drop a like in this video. All right. Subscribe too if you have not. I'm out.